There we go. Dude, how the hell is Santa coming up here, man? He just gets real tiny. Don't you believe in magic? But there is one market. There's one specific market in Ohio that offers an alternative, offers something a little bit different, offers people the opportunity uh, to buy in a net population growth area. You could buy this property in Ohio, living from California. You could live in Portland. Uh, it sucks if you do, but you could. Uh, the current owner renovated both units, coming to you guys, totally vacant uh, in this particular Investor, you know, he, he renovated it the exact same way I would renovate my properties, okay? Okay, That's cool. Good. We're done, Zoe. Yeah, That's a wrap. Welcome to the Investing Properties for Sale show, folks. Thing is selling at or above list. We are going to provide you guys with complete transparency and education. We take you to the video tour. Won't watch TV, giving it to you straight. A lot of investors end up investing in Ohio because they're looking for, like, low-cost, Section 8, cash flow stuff right ohio's big for the cash flow investors right and there's a ton uh of markets in ohio that you know are attractive to those investors looking for like low cost cash flow okay you got cleveland akron dayton cincinnati toledo etc right but there is one market there's one specific market in Ohio that offers an alternative, offers something a little bit different, offers people the opportunity uh, to buy in a net population growth area, offers people the opportunity to still get that cash flow but have huge, huge, huge appreciation potential, and that is the Columbus market, folks. Columbus is where you go if you're trying to invest in the state of Ohio, uh, but you're looking for the best long-term job growth opportunities, population trends, et cetera, right? This particular property, 1449 Hildreth Ave, Columbus, priced at 2449. This is a turnkey duplex, man. Uh, the current owner renovated both units, coming to you guys, totally vacant. Uh, in this particular Investor, you know, he, he renovated it the exact same way I would renovate my properties, okay? He's got the gray walls, the white paint. He's even got the nice little tile in the shower. And because you're down there in the Columbus market, you're going to see higher rents per unit than you're going to see in the various other markets in Ohio, right? Fifteen fifty is what each of these units should be getting, right? So you could be bringing in $3,100 a month. And that is just right now, folks. When you buy a property in Columbus, you got to think, what is my investment going to look like five, ten years down the road, right? What is my rent going to be? Is it going to be fifteen, fifty in ten years? Probably not. It's probably going to be like twenty eight hundred or something, right? You have so many draws to that market, so much going on. Like, dude, Intel is doing a twenty billion dollar chip factory okay that is huge guys that is just like massive massive investment right and you can't say that kind of stuff for any of the other markets in ohio right so when you guys look at properties in columbus like this one sure does it hit the one percent rule today yes that's great right the rents are great now the cash flows great now but you really have to be focused and thinking like dude what is this investment going to look like for me in 10 years and it's going to be Nuts, right? So you're going to lock in your price now. You're going to buy it now. But that rent, folks, that's just going to keep going up. And I understand interest rates are a little bit high right now. But guess what? Unlike the rents in Columbus, interest rates, they go up, they go down, they go up, they go down. You could buy now. Uh, you could buy with cash refi later. You could buy now with a loan refi later. I recommend uh, doing an arm. Do an adjustable rate mortgage, y'all. You lock in a lower rate. Uh, I just did. Uh, an arm deal on one of my own properties, okay? I just, I just got a $800,000 arm loan uh, at like 6.25% interest, okay? That's a lot nicer than like the 8% y'all are seeing, right? Instead of locking in a 30-year loan at 8%, I'm like, no, nah, dude, give me that arm. I'll do 6.2, and then I'm gambling on sometime in the next seven years, Rates will be somehow lower, and then if they are, I'll refi at that time, and then look at all that interest I saved, right, by getting the lower rate now, right? So think about that kind of stuff, guys. This one, I just want you guys to really focus. I want you guys to really focus on long-term plays. Sure, the cash flow is cool. The cash flow is great. You're Ohio. You're a red state. It's very landlord-friendly. It's not horrible like that dirty shithole Portland or that hellhole California. But also, it's got things that places like California have too, right? Massive appreciation potential, right? The land, the dirt, 
going to be worth a lot more down the road. The rent's probably going to be a lot higher. Because of all that, I really like this investment, and it's got good bones, right? The roof, it's about six years old, and then the furnace and the hot water tanks, uh, you know, it's going to vary between, like, one and three years. You know, he kind of updated them, you know, as he went along, right? So, all told, solid turnkey investment, uh, basically rent ready. You just have to do a little teeny, teeny, we a little bit of probably clean up before you actually place some tenants in there. If you guys need property management referrals, uh, we've got several that we can hook you guys up with. There is many people operating down there in Columbus that can handle your day-to-day -day management that we'll hook you up with. If you need lenders, we could also hook you up with those as well. Uh, just shoot us an email. We'll get you our lender list, and they will loan to anybody uh, well, anybody who qualifies, right? Uh, but what I'm trying to say is they'll loan to you no matter where you live, right? It doesn't matter if you're in Ohio, right? You could buy this property in Ohio, living from California. You could live in Portland. Uh, it sucks if you do, but you could. Uh, you, we even have lenders that hook people up uh, that are foreign nationals, right? We got a bunch of Canadian clients. We got folks in the UK. I uh, got folks out there in Singapore, right? So you guys need lenders, property managers for this property. I got you covered. Let us know. And then to put in your offer, just send it to my team, sales at Holton com just be like hey man i want to buy hildreth and columbus i'll pay 244.9 cash here's my proof of funds or pre-approval here's or i mean finance here's my pre-approval letter and i will field your offers at that time if 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 you want to tour the property though before you put in that offer that's fine too just hit us up sales at holtonweiss.com you hit us up before five o'clock eastern standard time we'll get you in there same day if it's after five o'clock yo that is miller time we'll hook you up the next day also just so you know this video is not sponsored by Miller, but it freaking could be Miller Coors. Hit your boy up. That's all I got. In this next unit? Yeah. yeah. I thought someone was sleeping in there. I was like, Ugh. You're like, Matt, why are you sleeping? Yeah, it was even that bed in huh? Oh, that's this cute little porch. The rear one's not as cute. Whoa, there's a fucking chair in here. <laughs> Pretty old windows. This door's on correctly. <laughs> Pretty sweet lights. I wanted to see it in action. Pretty cool. Pan it this way. Can't see shit because of the fucking glare from the window. Really? Yeah. There we go. Dude, how the hell is Santa coming up through there? He just gets real tiny. Don't you believe in magic? <laughs> That's for fucking health. It was golfing. <laughs> All of them. Any any side that has a window, I haven't been able to paint it like from. It's like the perfect time of day where the fucking sun coming right at us. You guys are straight. I love the sun. I Something love the sun. Do 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 do. You're gonna get sued. I said the song. Isn't it the lyric my son? No, it's not. No, Holy it's shit! Straight up, here comes the song I love. <laughs> he banged the song. Do -do 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 -do. Get yourself a Sealy Posturpedic. <laughs> Yo! Did people live here until like a week ago? I know, I don't know. I saw the couch and everything and I got a little confused. Huh. Oh shit! <laughs> Had to get their scrap funds up somehow. <laughs> How do we get to the basement? You'll see. Oh, what the fuck? <laughs> what? The, what the fuck is that? I can do it if you want. That's not 
terrifying. I'll go down there. That's where all the rapes happen. At least one. Look at this. At least one. At least one. Does the lights not work? Uh, I don't know. That I don't know. Really? I got this for the webs. Okay. You didn't investigate? No, I, I peeked down and I was like, <laughs> Matt would love that. Hello? Anybody down here? Any rapists down here? No, nah, it's not rapey down here at all. You can't see anything because the light only shines like a quarter of a. Right. But. No, it's a lot less rapey than Yeah. It's a nice so furnace. So this next area is the common area? Or a hot water tank? Yeah, I think so. <sighs> It's on the street. Bumping, dude. I got the panels over here. Do you want me to open them for you? Yeah, yeah if you could. Close. No, if you could open them. Alright, there we go. Where the fuck is this going? Whoa, look at that. That goes all the way to the front of the house back there. Yeah, look at that. Oh, damn. You get here? Yeah, yeah, I got in there. I got the panels open for you. Alright, clear this, webs. This furnace is running. <laughs> Maybe the fan's on. Lower. Cool. Thanks, man. Down box. Clearly labeled. Cubby hole for up box. This is probably like the old stair one hand or something. Thanks for coming down here and not just closing the door and locking it on me, which is what <laughs> I thought you guys were going to do. That would have been fucking hilarious. That would have been pretty good. Is there water in the toilet up there? I never looked. I think you could piss in it anyway. You go first, I'll piss in it. College kids go to school to spend like 30k a year and get a degree they can't use when they leave. And then not pay it back. Yeah, my mom. And then they're in debt for the rest of their life. My mom told me she refused to pay thirty thousand dollars a year for me to to get a degree in underwater basket weaving. <laughs> but mom, it's gonna be the next big thing. Did you lock this already? No, I put the keys in the box. Oh, okay. Cool. We're done, Zod. That's a wrap. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.